guys, welcome back, welcome to my channel, Tokyo Kara Konbanwa. Herzlich willkommen. So guys, I give you an update on Palantir, ticker is PLTR. Yeah, guys, looks bullish, right? Palantir looks bullish. We have here a very, very bullish breakout. I um, yeah talked about this breakout here in the beginning of February, where I said it, uh, said it could be a short squeeze or just a pump and dump. Uh, now, guys, we have more information here, not only here based on the chart, also what is going on here behind the scenes. So I will update you here on these information, and of course, also on the price levels here uh, related to the chart. And yeah, as you know, guys, everything what I say here is not a financial advice. I am not a financial advisor, guys. Everything what I tell you here is my own opinion based on the chart, guys. Yeah, before I enable the drawings, um, we can make a quick recap here what happened for Palantir, if you didn't see my previous videos here, we have a market capital of 55 billion billion dollars. So very, very strong market capital. Also an average trading volume of 66 million shares. This is a lot, guys. You can see that the uh, stock market here was correcting yesterday here. Don't forget, guys, we have a free day on Friday. There is no trading on Friday this week. This is one of the reasons, I guess, why the stock market is also correcting here a little bit. But you can see, based on the YouTube watch list, Palantir was one of the stocks here, very few stocks, which had here a green number yesterday, 1.5%. Better than nothing, guys. We have, of course, some short squeezes here in the market. As you know, my channel is focusing on short squeeze stocks. This here is just the tip of the iceberg. These are very popular and well-known short squeeze stocks, but I have, a, I have a lot of short squeeze stocks in my pocket with huge squeeze potential and present them here for members only, guys. So when we check now here out Palantir, we can see that we have here something like a breakout pattern. When I enable the drawings, don't um, get surprised, guys. We, we start here with the weekly chart. So one candle is the price action of one week. When Palantir started to trade here in September 2020, we started with a nice short squeeze here. Uh, from $8.84 all the way up to $45. That was a very, very big squeeze here. We measured it here very quick. So 400%. And you can see after the correction phase and the accumulation here in this price zone, we had again here now a nice squeeze in total of I think over 300%. Yeah, 375%. Looks not bad, guys. As I said, this is a very, very nice squeeze if you invested here in Palantir, guys, and uh, started here to invest in 2022. You had here a nice squeeze, but <laughs> as I said, I'm a, I'm a, yeah, I call it a lazy trader. I don't want to hold a stock for that long period of time. Nothing wrong with that. Don't get me wrong, guys, but I'm lazy. I want quick squeezes, high risk, high reward. And there is a lot of potential in the market, guys. And we have a lot of short squeeze stocks here, which squeezing every day. Just to give you a few examples here, we had this 197% squeeze. I made the video here on Sunday and one day later, we had this squeeze because I always... Uh, try to predict squeezes guys i cannot see the future but based on the technicals when you know how to read a chart and this is also part of this video here i will show you how to read this palantir chart with the drawings then you can predict something to happen guys based on the technicals this squeeze here i predicted this was a 152 percent squeeze in one day of course and i predicted this here two days before so that's why i say guys this is what i'm doing here on my channel the main purpose is to educate you in trading but of course i give you some options here some tickers with high squeeze potential guys and if you want to see these tickers guys i always upload them here and these are the so-called hot stocks i do these uploads here every week so i predict the uh, stocks on Sunday or Monday before the market opens, of course, then you can review the charts and can decide by yourself if you want to trade these stocks or not. This is not a financial advice, guys. And if you want to see these tickers, you can join in the Elite Circle membership here on my channel. The link is in the video description, or you can just go here on the main page of my channel and join member or Mitglied werden, and then here the Elite Circle, guys. This is the way to go where I show you these hidden short squeeze stocks. I have my own stock program, which is uh, yeah reporting these stocks. Then I make chart analysis. And if I think there is a potential squeeze incoming, I present these in a video here for Elite Circle members only. And I show you also my hidden short squeeze indicators. I also do chart analysis on request. So if you need quick chart analysis on Palantir or any other stock guys that you like to trade, you can just ask me here. I do that on request. And I have also now Discord. So for Elite Circle members, a Discord access is available and you can join in there guys to share your experience and talk with the other members. And yeah, it's a very nice growing community here. If you want to join in guys, feel free, welcome on board. So now we enable the drawings here for Palantir and you may see my previous videos. I never 
touch or change my charts, guys. Yeah, I'm not the guy who talk uh, in the one week this, the next week this, the next week this, guys. When I identify a chart pattern, then I stick to that. I mean, rely on that. And what we clearly can say now, this is a clearly breakout, yeah, is this chart pattern here, guys. This is not active anymore. This was the, yeah, bearish trend channel here for Palantir when Palantir started to squeeze and started to correct here. We have here some bear zones or liquidity zones in the chart. Here this green box, this white box and this red box here are so-called liquidity zones. But this here was the main trend channel for Palantir which controlled the price. Very easy to identify by the several touch points here. And now finally guys, since February 2024 this year, we had our bullish breakout. And that could mean guys that we are here, uh, yeah, not in a new uptrend because we had already here this bullish trend channel, as I said, here was a fake out. The all time low was $3.08, sorry, $5.92 was the all time low. You can see that the price bottomed in here. Then we start to bounce here in this liquidity zone here. The price was accumulating. We had several attempts here to break out to the upside, got rejected here many, many times. And then with this pump here, guys, we finally could break the downtrend. And this is, in my opinion, here the trend channel in which we are moving in. So we can yeah, disable or uh, make this here a little bit more invisible this trend channel here this is not that necessary for now so we i don't want to disturb the chart too much of course i keep it here the drawing but now guys we have here just two very important price zones which we have to talk about and one of those zones here the most important zone uh, which is now our resistance yeah temporary resistance is this price line here guys here when i zoom in this is 27 dollar and 51 cents guys this is in my opinion for now the make it or break it price level for palantir to yeah make um, higher highs or even make new all-time highs guys this is possible why do i think that not only based on the chart because we can also see here in the weekly chart we have here a very very strong rsi pattern we are overbought here we have been over two times but still holding here this very old since yeah since here uh, 2022 february this algo trend line here, yeah, I call it the bullish trend line in the RSI is active. So what does that mean? The RSI is going up, the price is going down. So this is called a bullish divergence. And finally here, guys, you can see that here after we broke out here, came back in the normal trading range of the RSI. And then we had our retest here and that caused this kind of small squeeze, guys. And you can see that we are on a very healthy uptrend. The next information which we have, which is very, very bullish, guys, is in Fintel. Because we can now see that the short interest for Palantir is just 82 million shares, guys. So, I mean, this is still sounds a lot, but when we compare this here with the average trading volume of 66 million shares, then this is not that much anymore. And that means this is just 4% of the tradable float. So, what does that say, guys? The short sellers covered. And you can see, based on Fintel, we have no shares available to short. The last update here was in the beginning of February. It could be a lack in, of information here, but you can see they have no shares available here officially. Yeah? I updated this just here 18 minutes ago. And what we also can see, and this is now the important part here, guys, on Fintel, is that the short sellers covered, guys. They covered a lot. So we had here 97. You can see the peak for Palantir was somewhere around here. So I think that was not that high here in the beginning, no. So the peak was here. We had here a peak in September last year. 167 million shares have been shorted. That was 7% of the float. Then they started to cover here. You can see that. Then, and again here, they increased the short interest. That's why I made a video here in February or the end of January where I said, warning guys here, something is happening behind the scenes, but they covered them again. You can see now the short interest is going lower and lower and lower because the price is too strong. And they covered here in total almost 15 million shares, guys, here based on these numbers. More than 15 million shares have been covered again right now. We have just this number in here since yesterday. So very important information from 97 million shares. Now, again, 15 million shares have been covered, guys. Yeah, very, very strong. And that even if we have this kind of high price levels here, and that could mean, guys, that this red box here, which was our resistance here, will become our support, that this is our support liquidity zone here in the future. If this is confirmed, guys, I will uh, change the color from red to green. And then it's just a matter of time, if you ask me, until we break through this $27 range here and start to create new all-time highs, guys. Yeah, that looks very, very good. If you want to see short squeeze stocks, as you know, guys, you can join in here the Elite Circle membership. I also have now, I built up here now my Patreon page. I also have here one group 
the short squeeze black belt club i also uh, post some yeah tickers or entries here where we have potential short squeezes incoming this is just based here on the chart i just give you a ticker you know hints with the entry signals here if you want to see that you can join in i have also own groups for amc and gamestop guys but as i said everything when you want the full content here and also video analysis then the elite circle membership guys here on this channel is the way to go for you guys yeah so this is what i want to show you so what uh, i think is now possible that this trend channel here is our support in the future guys so that would mean that when we come back when we correct here a little bit that everything here yeah based on these um, ema lines here the white and the yellow ema could or should be our support which brings us here in the long term out of this bearish liquidity zone here which is now trading when we zoom in here between 23 dollar and 20 dollar guys so 23 dollar 82 and 20 dollars 18 so this is our bearish liquidity zone and that could be that this is our support in the future and this, that this trend channel here brings us up to new all-time highs for palantir i want to show you this uh, really quick here in the daily chart we closed already here a few of the open gaps and we switch off the indicators here for a second we had here an open gap guys at 23 dollar 99 this gap has been closed so you can see that was from november 2021 an old open gap and even now guys a few years later this gap is closed and then the next gap almost here with the same move is also closed guys that was the open gap here at 27 dollar 24 that's why you also see this huge reaction here or the rejection to the downside this is absolute normal when you close these kind of up gaps because this is the purpose of these um, algos to close these gaps but i think guys when we see the overall data i don't think this is just a pump and dump it looks for now based on the technical information strong guys and that would mean the next price level to go for palantir here in the short term is 13 dollars 31 dollars and 36 cents because we have one more open gap waiting here guys to close yeah and then it's on guys because here is nowhere's land we have here very volatile price action or almost no volume trading volume here this is of course where the short sellers waiting to sell as i said this is in my opinion the make it or break it decision and if we can break this price level here guys in my opinion it's just a matter of time until we see new all-time highs for palantir this is based on the information we have here in the chart and on Fintel today guys if they of course start to dilute the stock that will change the momentum also don't forget we have a lot of gap ups here in the chart you can see these orange lines these are open gaps to the downside guys and also these gaps have to get filled in future guys sooner or later believe me i know you won't want to hear that that the price goes back down to ten dollar or even lower because we have even lower gaps here in the chart but guys this is how algos and trading work at some point you know there is a lot of buying interest and when the price goes too high then a lot of people take profits the market makers step in and the buying interest goes lower and lower because the price is already too high and then you will see the next bear phase or correction phase incoming guys this is how trading works yeah this is really nothing special guys so guys that was my video here on palantir i hope you enjoyed the content if you want to recreate this chart here guys yeah i use here trading view this is the program which i use to draw all these lines you can of course pause this video here and redraw the lines how i did that i think it's uh, very helpful for you to understand how these algos work and if you don't have trading view yet i can give you here a discount link in the video description and then you can save $15 guys by using this link when you click this link automatically um, TradingView calculates a discount of $15 for your subscription and I think for beginners and advanced traders the plus subscription guys is the way to go you will also find the discord uh, sorry the patreon and uh, membership uh, links here in the video description but this link is the TradingView link guys to save $15 guys I wish you a yeah, great success and good luck here with Palantir all the other stocks as i said if you need any chart analysis guys i do that for you when you join in here the elite circle membership i wish you all the best great success with all your trades and see you in the next video thank you for watching guys arigatou gozaimasu vielen dank alles gute und bis bald take care guys bye bye